one. Jeremy McGrath on the right. Getting set. He's used to getting whole shots here. Wants to see if he can win his third in a row in Orlando, but it's Emig out in front. Emig takes the turn. He goes down. Look out. Henry. McGrath right on the heels of Kyle Lewis. Leaps over Kyle Lewis into first place. You talk about wasting little time getting out in front now, and he's going to... You are looking after Jeremy McGrath, and he is right where you want him right now. Are you worried about Morocco? Well, he's got enough gap now he can watch him. Uh, hopefully, if he, uh, if he can see himself pull away, he's pulling away just a little bit right now. That's the best thing for the confidence. When he starts reeling him in, if he starts reeling him in, that's when you start worrying about him catching him. But right now, he seems to be pulling away just a little bit, and we got a lot of racing left. And the cheers in Orlando are for number one, the knack-knack kid, Showtime, whatever you want to call him, Jeremy McGrath on his way to winning the opener to the 1995 season, his 20th Supercross win in only 32 races, David. That's the first too many things against it, but there you see him taking the win again. He's got to demoralize everyone. For the warmth and the action inside. The race for the hole shot. Jeremy McGrath is off to a great when he gets his first hole shot of the year. Moss moving ahead of Ward as we look at Skip Norfolk. Jeremy McGrath's mechanic checking out on the stopwatch as number one is really putting on a sprint now. Jeremy McGrath has won 20 Supercrosses. He's looking forward to number 21 in the shortest period of time in Supercross history. Only 31 races. He's on his showtime lap right now. 28. The knack-knack for the fans. You know, more impressively than all the records is the way he's riding the seasons flag. and two races. Taking the checkered flag. Beating him. Last minute instructions and nervous routine. Oh yeah, you see McGrath there clapping, doing whatever it's gonna take to get him side to see if he's gonna get pushed wide. The 250 main is underway. Breaking to the inside, it is Larry Ward getting the whole shot with Ezra Lusk, number 24, out there. And buried in the back of the pack, Lorocco and Kudrowski. And McGrath, he's buried back there right with him. McGrath, you see him right there taking the turn. He's about in ninth place right now. And he can't this year, second in points. Here comes Jeremy McGrath approaching John Dowd. And John Dowd almost looks like he just gets out of the way. You know, Jeremy's so intimidating, and now he's got flashing lights to go right along with it. He's carving his way right through the pack, no problem. Go to the front, so do we. Oh, the crowd is going crazy. He's trying to make his move. What can you tell your guy to keep his momentum up? Uh, I just need to tell him to follow Jeremy and learn. Uh, just like everybody else needs to do, it seems, so far this year. And he's got a bruised sternum, and that's got to be painful. And right there, McGrath goes right for the jugular, wastes no time, and he's already got second, setting his sights on Larry Ward. And look at how low he jumped compared to Lampson. He does everything a little bit different. Right. Well, he doesn't carry a wheelie into the face of those jumps like some of these other guys. Right there, look on that triple. You see him look over to see where Larry Ward is. He doesn't want to win. Larry Ward, and look at the interval now. About a second is all with Jeremy McGrath on the hunt. There he hops the little rut section now, takes the inside, forces Ward out, and then leaps by him. Says hello, goodbye. And his 22nd win of his career. That's pretty amazing. Only a shot like last week. Put some distance on McGrath and hopefully hang on here. They're off. Good start by number 24 in the Suzuki. Ezra Lusk competition out front as Jeremy McGrath, as usual, wasting no time, cuts inside of Ezra Lusk and takes over the lead before the green flag is seen. The final turn, the finish line jump, the checkers for Jeremy McGate. Just about set to drop. There she goes. McGrath wasting little time, goes to the inside. That's Lampson and swing to the outside. The inside, knowing those guys on the outside had the momentum, he took their line away. And look at Craig. Craig in second, and he passes Jeremy McGrath. First. There goes Jeremy with the challenge already. Oh, Zipping nice. through the whoops. Nice move. Jeremy McGrath to within three wins of Bob Hanna's mark of 27 career wins. And of course, he doesn't want the points race to tighten any further. This is a focus for Jeremy McGrath. And McGrath a great start as we watch from the Honda Helmet Camp. McGrath for a whole shot. Skip Norfolk, uh, Jeremy McGrath's mechanic looking on, concerned as McGrath just spinning away. Look at the airtime McGrath gets to that section. This has got to be one of the most exciting moments in Ryan Hughes' career. He's won 125 races. This would be his first podium performance. Jeremy McGrath. <laughs> 
Mr. Trudeau's. We get set for round nine of the U.S. Supercross Series, and a good takeoff by Jeremy McGrath. Number six, Jeff Emming. Then Kyle Lewis, Michael Craig. We've got Henry, and then LaRocco. Pretty good seems to be holding a little bit of a cushion over Jeremy, and uh, if he is unable to get away, you see right there to the left of your screen of holding off Jeremy McGrath. Usually around this time, Jeremy has already made his pass and is checked out, but right now, Emick's making a good race out of it. Jeremy looking a little bit more relaxed. Uh, offending champion, two consecutive years. Jeremy McGrath is looking for a third championship, and he's putting the heat on side by side. Emmy gets the angle on the corner and boxes him out. Jeremy's got to be getting frustrated because he's got company from the Kawasaki camp coming up from behind, and he can't, I don't see any place on this racetrack where Jeremy's that much faster. 6,919 fans of the Astrodome are being treated to a tremendous competition right now, David. Emig, number six, Jeremy McGrath, number one. McGrath just looking at every turn, trying to get by Jeff Emig. And there he takes advantage of the opportunity. That was brilliant. 26. This guy knows what it's like to ride around last lap and put on a show for the fans. Only one win away from that 27 mark set by Bob Hanna, the second winningest rider in history. Got to be proud of Emig. Emig placing second, his best finish of the year. Riders, and I like where he's starting. Most of the good guys are on the inside. I think Jeremy's out too wide. We're riding with Jeremy. That's Emig on the left. He got the whole shot. McGrath looks over to Henry on his left side and cuts underneath Emig on the turn. Jeremy McGrath out in front. Looks back at uh, both Emig and Henry. Larry Ward is up in there. All the guys with good starts. This is an excellent race. And Jeremy on his way to possibly a record-breaking evening. Take that opportunity. <laughs> McGrath number one, Emig number six, and Henry. They do a little bump action there. We thought we might see some bar-banging action on this short track. So he'll mess him up. And by the time he moves over, then he moves over for Emig. And it makes things really tough for the leader. Pretty much in the uh, can right now, as they say in the movies, Jeremy McGrath has tied Rick Johnson's all-time career victory mark of 28 with the year who will be battling for position here tonight. This is a look from the top of Greg Albertine. Look at McGrath, scores the whole shot. Jeremy McGrath continues. Uh, you can see on the other side of your screen, Emmett going into the corner from the whoop section. He's already got probably a six or seven second lead. And uh, no mistakes from this kid, and he just is phenomenal. I, I mean, it's boring. Shoot, you know, it's hard for us up here to. Good <laughs> really... thing we have a race in back of him. You see, he's got the helmet camera right there, but if we go to that, you're not going to see anything. But the all-time win mark for Supercross: 28 to Rick Johnson, 27 Bob Hanna, but number 29 for Jeremy McGrath. Here it looks pretty serious. I don't know if it's serious or how am I going to get through this day with the flu. Yeah, a temperature of 102 most of the week. There you see LaRocco, who won the first moto, is off quickly. Look from Rich Taylor's helmet cam. We see Doug Henry, and now Jeremy McGrath trying the inside. He cuts off Henry. They will come up the elevator, and McGrath maintains the lead as they sweep around to the right side. What a great move there. All he has to do is hang on, and he will get the overall victory. Well, it's going to be his first 250 outdoor national win, first one of the season, and I think he's proved to everyone that he has arrived, and he is a contender for the national title. Gate to drop on moto number two here at Bud's Creek. Let's see as they go up the hill who gets the hole shot. Looks like Emig's out in front right now. Fired back up on their way. Look at Jeff Emig as he leads Jeremy McGrath. But look at LaRocco coming up on the inside. He sweeps around McGrath. But Jeremy has gotten around him. And look, here comes the Suzuki. Is that Albertine getting into the side of LaRocco? Looking for that fork guard again. <laughs> Put that in your arsenal. Now Jeremy sweeps around Jeff Emig. McGrath taking over the lead, but just for a second as Emig comes back. But Jeremy up the double, manages to pull out in front. And this is just the first lap. McGrath, they come up the hill, and he will swing to the outside. And Jeff Emig, what a great move as Jeremy went inside. Emig making the pass. Oh, it's a great move, and uh, people are always saying stuff like, boy, if he'd have had a couple more laps, well, we'll see what he can do from the uh, from a poor start. And Jeremy, I think when he got around uh, Emig, probably just figured that was that. And Emig retaliating and doing exactly what it takes to beat Jeremy McGrath and take him out of his rhythm, and we'll see if... Mm -hmm. 
I think he could maybe win this. But you might say Emig is just about due for an overall victory at Gainesville, fourth, second in Hangtown, and fifth at Mount Morris. Well, I think he can maybe win this. Doesn't sound real confident to me. And there goes Jeremy up the inside. Well, Jeremy McGrath making that look easy. Coming up the inside on the double. Gets on these is what they call him in baseball. I don't know what we can call him in uh, motocross when the fans have him and wave him around. They uh, seem to be a big favorite of the fans here at Bud's Creek, Maryland. Look at how far forward Jeremy rides on the motorcycle. Look at his head's almost over the handlebars. You can look at his front number plate almost, and that's that's that aggressive uh, riding style that's uh, worked so well for him in the Supercross, and now it's starting to pay off in the outdoors. Comes up the hill around the last turn. A little bit of a wheelie as he comes over. The checkered flag is out, and Jeremy McGrath comes away with his second overall victory of the set. The bike's firing up on that concrete launching pad. The gate drops. They'll go up the hill. Let's see who comes out in front. Look at that, Emig off to another quick start. Jeremy right behind him. And Tom. Right now, Jeremy McGrath making a move on Emig, relegates him to the third spot. Jeremy took the inside line. Emig went to the outside, and Jeremy scoots around. Man, what's going through Emig's head right now? Well, all these guys are. <laughs> McGrath is the leader. A good lead over LaRocco and David. The word from the pits, broken shock for John Dowd. Finally, the checkered flag is out. Jeremy can celebrate the victory. Two rider battle to the end. There's the gate. It drops. Moto number one is underway. Looks like Jeremy McGrath gets the whole shot, followed by Emick. Those are the two riders we just highlighted. For Coming in from the outside, Jeremy out in front. And I've said it a lot this season. Once he gets off to a good start, he is hard to catch. And he's already put a little bit of space between himself and LaRocca. Jeff Emick moving into that third spot. Of course, he's thinking points right now. And Jeremy McGrath is at the point. You don't get many more points than that. In fact, that's the limit he could collect. Checkered flag is out. Here comes Jeremy McGrath to the line. I think it was a green bike. Yes, LaRocca is second. And Jeff Emig finishes third. Moto2, it was McGrath and Emig again with Lewis in third, on way to his first 95 podium, a third overall. A three-lap duel between number six and number three was defined early. Emig goes flying. Bruised and battered, Emig somehow clears his head, ignores the pain to get back into a fight for second with Lewis. McGrath, the opportunist, pulls a 20-second lead on his rival. The checkered flag gaining his fifth overall win of the season, his eighth moto victory. Uh, Honda was working really good in second moto, and, uh, you know, there's uh, no reason I shouldn't have won that race. Moto 1 saw John Dowd, Mike Kudrowski, Phil Lawrence, Larry Ward, and James Dobb out early with Jeremy. Wow. While Jeremy McGrath was taking the lead quickly and running away to a four and a half second advantage in the opening lap. First five laps, McGrath was pulling a double digit lead. McGrath, the checkers, and the 1995 title. Outdoor Nationals takes a lot of, a lot of time testing, and the bikes, they got to be prepared every week, over and over again. And, and uh, you know, it's just a complete team that takes a whole effort. I finally put my mind to it, and I think it just helped everyone else work so much harder. The second 250 moto was like a walkout fight in boxing. McGrath already securing the 250 title, laps in the 125s in exciting fashion, and Jeremy gets the whole shot. Emig looking for redemption, battling for pride's sake. He went outside. Jeremy goes inside. Where to be seen by the rest of the field? A 15-second lead by the halfway mark. The only question to be said. McGrath, Emig, Dowd, Ward, and Kudrowski, the top five in the year's final moto. McGrath's 11th win in 24 motos. Here's how the McGrath era in AMA National Motocross has begun. I'm Bob Barsha. Art Ekman is standing.